Whether you buy your system or build it, you probably have one of two types of drives installed, either an SSD or a regular old hard drive. In either case, your system performance can be adversely affected because of the low space, but especially on an SSD, causing rewrites on a very small portion of the SSD. Now, initially, the OS and some of the system files already consume some of the space on the drive. And then, once you start installing programs and choose a default installation, they get installed under one of two program folders on the C drive, and yes, consuming even more space. After that, when you start using those programs, they store most of your information on the same C drive, consuming even more space. Then, each time you install Windows updates, upgrade software, or just use your programs, the amount of free space reduces over and over again until your C drive starts getting filled up. Eventually, the drive is overcrowded. What to do? Install a second drive. Once you have the drive installed, we're going to show how to modify your default save locations, copy your existing data to the new location, and lastly, deleting the original data on the C drive, thereby giving you the space you need. By default, Windows has a user directory, and underneath that, the currently logged in user has a username directory. Underneath that, each user has a set of directories for the common file types they may use. But when we change the directory to the D drive, it no longer stores it on a user directory. It simply has a username directory at the root level of the hard drive. From then on, the directory structure is exactly the same as it was underneath the username on the C drive. But now, instead of filling up space on your C drive, it starts filling up space on your D drive in those new directories. So while that stops your C drive from being filled up even more, it doesn't relieve your problem of free space. So I'm going to cover how to copy your files over to the new drive, and then eventually, once you're sure you're okay, you can delete them from your C drive. Quick note here, especially when installing a new drive, Windows may not show those new drives in the drop-down box here in the Settings app. If your new drive is not displaying here in the drop-down list, you may have to go to a different place in your setting app to help Windows recognize it. The initial display will be about your C drive, including the amount of storage that's being used um, and what's available, the type of applications or data files that are being used on that drive. To see the same information for your new drive, you have to scroll down a bit, uh, not storage sense, but even further, we're going to go here, additional storage uh, settings. You should see other drives here uh, when you click on that. And you may have to drill down even further each one of these and let it refresh until it knows all about your drive. So then when we go back to the uh, default uh, settings again, you should see your new drive in the drop down for each one of those selections. So to look at the actual place, we're going to go over to the D drive. And there's that new directory I talked about uh, with the username. Oh, he's part of it. And underneath it, you'll see the I've already done the documents. So now we're going to go back to the settings app and choose the next category and click on it. Select the uh, same volume that I'm trying to work with and then say apply. When I go back to the directory over here, you'll see that it's now created that subdirectory. Now I'm going to go back and do it over again for all the different ones here, the remaining ones here are here. And if we go back after I do all those, you'll see that the four main ones are done already. Then when I switch back to the original C drive storage location, you see all the information is still there. None of it is moved. It's still consuming space on your C drive. So as an example here, I've opened up both of my music directories, both in the old location and the new one. And I've highlighted the old location. I'm about to drag them over to the right, which is the new location. So when you drag these, Windows by default does a copy and not a move. It only does a move when it's on the same drive. So when I drag them from the one drive to the next, it automatically copies them to the new location. And I'm going to check here and make sure that everything I wanted is copied. I actually have a good copy before I go back and delete them. Once you're 100% satisfied you have everything you want on the new drive, then you can go back here and highlight them and delete them. And now you should have successfully recovered some of the space on your C drive. 
So there you have it, how to move your documents and other types of files over to your new drive to recover some of the free space on your C drive. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want some more, please subscribe to The Old Guy Geek and click on the bell to get notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description of the video.